Hi Scorpio, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Scorpio, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Scorpio. So at the bottom of the deck we have the emperor and this is aries energy so this is an energy of somebody who's very empowered i do see somebody who is um almost a bit stubborn this is somebody who knows what they want i'm seeing someone who is this could be someone who's in a leadership position um but there's something about this person having some sort of um you know final say or authority um this person also i do see them being compassionate caring warm um this is definitely uh, i also do see this as a symbol of stability some sort of progression in a situation here leveling up um so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this scorpio okay so the first card we have is the nine of pentacles and this is earth energy next you have the page of swords air energy and finally, we have the Ace of Swords, Air Energy again. Okay, so there is a sense that there's somebody here who's looking at you and um, is quite admiring of you. Um, I do see them viewing you in this Nine of Pentacles light. This is definitely looking at you as somebody who's thriving, somebody who is quite stylish, quite beautiful, and um, somebody who takes care of themselves. So I do see um, you have someone here who's, who's paying a lot of attention to you. They're watching you. With the Page of Swords, that is, again, somebody who's deeply invested in getting to know you um so this person could be um you know um checking you out on social media asking friends about you but there's just a, a major curiosity from this person towards you and i do see it it's, it's in a positive way they're looking at you and in awe of you admiring you um this person is definitely wanting to um you know have some sort of um beginning with you they want to initiate some sort of communication with you with the ace of swords um this person may want to speak their mind to you they want to also get to know you on the mental level this person genuinely has uh, this fascination this interest in you okay so let's clarify these cards scorpio It's at the bottom of the deck we have the queen of pentacles and this is earth energy virgo taurus capricorn energy so this is an energy of the ideal uh partner this is somebody who who has it all together somebody who can really hold it down somebody who's stable grounded practical so this person could be admiring you in the sense looking at you as someone who would make a great partner looking at you as someone who um is very intuitive smart makes good decisions and they have respect for you so i do see this person is definitely honoring you so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this scorpio okay so the first card we have is the hanged man and this is pisces energy so you could be dealing with a pisces next we have the nine of pentacles again earth energy 
And finally, we have the Nine of Cups, Water Energy. Okay, so you could be at this time in a state of uh, an independent energy. You could be focusing on yourself, focusing on your goals, your mindset, your career, your goals. Um, there is the sense of um, self-sufficiency on your part, emotional independence. Um, so this person could also see you in this light and it's very attractive. It, it's making this person want to know more about you. With this hanged man, I do see this as them looking at you from different perspectives, you know, really trying to figure you out, trying to understand you wanting to know you deeper um so this person is definitely um i do see at the moment they may be still studying you watching you trying to assess you but this person wants to initiate a beginning with you um this is a, a desire of theirs to have some sort of um to be in some sort of communication with you um so i do see um this person may have been checking you out for a while now with that hanged man energy there um i do see that they may have been doing this you know almost like admiring you quietly from afar it's been a while that they've been doing this um but this person definitely does want to um to speak some sort of truth to you Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Scorpio. Okay, so the card says, nothing is yet set in stone, mutable moon. Okay, so I do see this person may have not yet made their, their move. This person just has been analyzing, assessing. Um, but I do see that th th there's a flexible energy around this person, though. Um, they, they're, they're quite fascinated. They're trying to figure out all aspects of you. Um, this is somebody who will make you feel very seen. Because with the hanged man there, I do see that as somebody who's trying to, you know, have this more of this um, understanding view, um, trying to not react just yet. They first trying to figure something out before, um, you know, initiating something. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Scorpio. So the card says, let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Okay, so this person, I do see that they are going to initiate some sort of communication here. Um, th there is a slow moving energy though with that hanged man. I do see that this person has been just admiring you from afar. Um, but I do see that... Um, with this energy, it's almost like you needn't do anything. Um, with the Nine of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, um, I do see that as you being in your element, prioritizing yourself, practicing self-love, self-care. And the more you do that, the more this person becomes more interested, more intrigued in you. And, um, you know, I do see them eventually wanting to come towards you, wanting to initiate this um, spark, this Ace of Swords, this communication with you. So I do see that it's like this person is attracted to your natural energy you being in your natural habitat is very attractive to them okay so i'm going to pull out another card for you scorpio okay so the card says power and healing to get what you love you first have to be patient with what you have. Okay, so I do see that as that energy of you being in that nine energy. This person may want to complete that nine and be that 10th cup or that 10th pentacle. Um, but I do see there's just the sense of you appearing very content with your, your life, with who you are. And it's really drawing this person in is what I'm seeing. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Scorpio. I hope you have a really, really good day, Scorpio. Bye, Scorpio.